hello 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 i'm back at it with another video um disregard the vacuum upstairs my mom is vacuuming but it is currently friday i am off today because of veterans day and i just wanted to do a video of me doing this cake or at least like a montage or something um you guys will see the cake it's going to be like a rustic themed cake it's going to be really beautiful and maybe like just the highlight of my weekend i'm trying to you know keep it calm this weekend i got my chill fit on my house fits and i have meditation music in my ear so yeah but i'm excited and just watch my journey
So my camera had cut out and both my batteries are dead. So I had to wait until they were fully charged to, um, you know, restart the camera again. By that time I was done the cake. So I didn't get time to like show you guys the finishing touches or the finished result. It's, it's already been picked up, but I do have pictures on my phone so you guys can see. And you can also, you know, check it out on my Taste Tasty Treat page. So this is how it turned out. There we go. So it turned out really good, really well, beautiful. And she loves it. It's a rustic cake. Vanilla. Yep. That's like a better picture. But that's how it turned out. So today, well, this weekend overall is a chill weekend. Um, I just baked, usually during my baking weekends, I just like to have a chill. And I'm about to go visit this apartment, you know, just to visit it, manifest it. And it has all the qualities I want. It's kind of the same as this other apartment I visited. Same pricing, floor layout, all the amenities. Um, I think it's just a little bit bigger. So I just want to see like, how just to see the difference it's something to do today and also taking this package to um the um I apologize, but taking this package to um, the a post office for my mother, and I don't know, I don't know what to really do after that. I have not really much to do. I'll probably work on some project management, um, maybe clean up a little bit, just relax. I've been tapping into this new show. Like I don't really watch TV like that, but it's called Manifest. I'm pretty sure everybody heard of it, but it's so good. Like especially if you're kind of an empath and an intuition person like me you can really connect to the show so i really like shows like that but i've been into it like really really into it so i might watch that um but like just having a relaxing weekend you know skin's looking good edges looking good um i i might switch gym so yesterday i visited lifetime fitness i'm pretty sure maybe some people have been familiar with it i don't know if it's in every state because that's my friend she has a lifetime fitness in delaware she said no but if you're in maryland um, i believe there's four lifetime fitnesses it's an amazing gym it's an amazing gym it's a basically like a country club it has like two swimming pools outside swimming pool a sauna like a plethora of you know machines um I think they have a rock climbing wall and the thing that got me is the classes like they have cycling classes weightlifting classes zumba and it's all included in the package so i feel like it's really worth it if you really use it and i need something like that because i like working out when I, it doesn't seem like i'm working out and i feel like that just gives me something to look forward to like oh i'm about to do the second class after work today or maybe even before work or i'm about to do a zumba class or maybe swim before work or something like that like i I like doing activities that's what excites me so I might um, get into it uh, nothing wrong with Planet Fitness I just feel like sometimes it gets too crowded to the point where I have to wait for a machine and I just I don't know like sometimes you just have to step into the lifestyle you want and it's like little steps like that and you know we spend our money hundred dollars a month on liquor on clubs on things we really don't need so why not invest in your health and wellness and mind because when i was in there i'm like it's they have a cafe they have a hair salon in there it's like wow like i'll spend my day in here there were people had their work laptops out i mean i could just work work out and just have a like a calm you know peace of mind so i um i'm looking into that and I'm thinking about doing a community service event for this holiday season, a toy drive. I was thinking about doing a um, food drive, but it's kind of late. I kind of thought of it late because it's November 12th. So it's like only 12 days, you know, just to like hype it up and put it out there. Um, 
So I will do a toy draw for December. I did one before with my friend Precious about a year or two ago. I don't think we did it last year because the COVID rates were up. I mean, I think the year before we did it during COVID too, but I don't know. We just try to keep it, keep it safe. Um, but we did, you know, um, donations and drives and we cooked the food, put it on platters and gave it to people in DC with, um, you know, living in tents. I'm thinking about giving it to the people in Baltimore living in tents. Um, I might still do it, but we'll see. I just don't want to overwhelm myself, but like, that's what we did and it was great. Um, but if I did the toy drive, I would do it to the Boys and Girls Club. Like, if you don't know, but I used to work at the Boys and Girls Club. I loved it, life-changing experience. I was a youth development coordinator um, and working with kids, you know, in the city. People have like the stereotype about them, but these kids are intelligent, they're smart. They know what they want. And I feel like if they have the resources, the tools and the support, they can do whatever they want in this world. So. I, you know, continue to give back to the Boys and Girls Club, like, forever. So, I might just do that. I will do that. And, yeah. Finally going to drop my YouTube. I might wait until the new year. I'm not going to lie. I might wait until the new year. And a couple other things on my list. So, I have a to-do list on my phone. Um, look into Facebook monetization. Because I did it on Instagram. And I have a lot of followers on Facebook. So, I might just, you know put put it out there on facebook look at new business cards for vending and baking um i don't know if i spoke about this before but i'm looking to get into the vending business i feel like it'll be fun like why not um i need new baking cards because i had a new website change and i want like accurate information on there um looking to uh plan a cruise for my 25th birthday i should be doing it now because i've been on a cruise before and we did it a year in advance and i'm kind of like behind a little bit if i want to do it in july so looking into that and that's it so just doing some research some study and just you know relaxing during the weekend um but yeah let me head to this apartment tour before i'm late and hopefully i'll see you guys there sometimes like um i'm not gonna say they don't allow recording but i don't know sometimes they be acting funny when i take the camera out but it's okay i'll just tell you guys about it afterwards so i'm here at the complex it looks real nice. I've been out here before. Um, I actually got my LASIK done out here since Towson. So cute little space. And they have like a lot of um like movie theaters like back that way. Like a lot of things to do. So I kinda like apartment complexes that have that area, you know, walking distance things to do. So I'm gonna check it out and see how it is, how it goes. So I'm currently on a self-guided tour. They basically <laughs> gave me directions to this place and I have like this code. I've never been on a self-guided tour before, but let's see. So it's apartment 407. So it's this way, so let's see. I think it's always wrong. All right, so I found it. Let's see. Okay, so I'm supposed to tap it. Oh, there we go. And the code is. Time expired. Let me try. I don't have to redo it. Oh, okay. Oh, Okay. Impressed by the kitchen. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that room's pretty big. They have a pool. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bathtub, shower. Oh, this closet. Okay. May have been a long walk. 
but that's this is nice. I don't think the other the other apartment I visited was not. It was kind of like the same square footage, but this is nice. I'm not gonna lie. This is nice. I'll put a couch, TV. Okay, nice little balcony. They got the pool, obviously. They should have covered it. Little pool area. And they're renovating. This is nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's nice. Like, I could see myself here. I definitely could. That is everything. It's like three things when it comes to apartments. It's the rent price, the remodeling, like it needs to be modern. It has to be. If I feel like I'm paying a certain amount, it needs to be renovated. And the amenities. Like I want to be able to go after work, go to the pool, or go after work and sit in the lounge area, or whatever they got going on, you know. Instead of sitting in the apartment all day, amenities. So it's currently top three for me. This is nice though. Hmm. Definitely put this on the list. This countertop, I love countertops like this. Dishwasher. Oh shit. <laughs> I'll be looking at everything. But yeah. Yeah, so I visited the apartment complex right across the street. It was pretty nice. Um like one thing, I don't know if anybody can relate, but apartment searching is hard, like like hard and fun, hard and I don't know how to explain it. Like all the apartments, like my top three apartments are probably these two and the one I visited um, a couple weeks ago. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the price is honestly the same. It might be a hundred dollar difference. Um, but the one thing with these apartments that kinda strays my way to the other one is the parking fee. Cause the, the way the apartment is set up, it's just free parking versus here. They offer fifty dollars a month for parking. They are twenty five. I'm. I probably wouldn't mind the twenty five. So I feel like I don't know. Like sometimes you're gonna add that together. I might sit down when it gets closer to when I want to move, and really like this is why it's important to do your research now. So when it's time to move, when you have your money right, you can just you know sit down, research, and like okay, bet I'm gonna apply to this place. Um, Yeah, I think it's just like, I don't know. They're really nice places. Really nice places. I mean, they have all the three aspects I want. Like, you know, the modern um, amenities, like the modern um, apartment updated. They have the amenities and it's in my price range. I mean, this one to the right is a little pricey a little bit. Cause you have to remember like i'm not a person just because you may be able to afford the apartment you have other fees you have your car note you have groceries you have your utilities i like to travel i like to have fun i like to do personal self-care like that's a fee too so you have to put that in consideration um so that's why it's like my mind's kind of going it's called to the other apartment i don't want to say their names yet but it's nine thousand but it was a cool search. I don't know. This one was really nice. It kind of gave more of a homey vibe versus this one was like straight modern. Like you kind of felt like, um, I don't know how to explain it. But this one was more homier. I don't know. Like they're both nice. Like they're all nice. I'm going to sit down and do my research and definitely intentionally. And y'all will see the day <laughs> when I come to a conclusion. And, you know, I don't have to live for there forever, you know, <laughs> at least for a reason. So, but yeah. Let 
But yeah, I will um definitely look more intentionally with this. Oh, it says 782 square feet. Okay. I just put everything on my box. I'm about to go in this folder. I'm starving. Yeah, I'm gonna get some food. I'm starving. But yeah. I be thinking like, what if they're in competition with each other? Because the girl <laughs> who did my tour, she was like, yeah, the apartment complex um, across from us, there people are moving. Um, people are moving over there. So, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I will see. I just like to do these, especially on the week when I'm not doing anything. Visit some apartments. Like manifestation is manifestation is key. In the world. All right, but y'all will see. Stay tuned. Yeah, so I visited the apartment complex right across the street. It was pretty nice. Um, like one thing, I don't know if anybody can relate, but apartment searching is hard. Like, like hard and fun, hard and I don't know how to explain it. Like. All the apartments, like my top three apartments are probably these two and the one I visited um, a couple weeks ago. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the price is honestly the same. It might be a hundred dollar difference. Um, but the one thing with these apartments that kind of strays my way to the other one is the parking fee. Cause the, the way the apartment is set up, it's just free parking versus here. They offer $50 a month for parking. They are 25. I'm, I probably wouldn't mind the 25. So I feel like, I don't know, like sometimes you're going to add that together. I might sit down when it gets closer to when I want to move. And really like, this is why it's important to do your research now. So when it's time to move, when you have your money right, you can just, you know, sit down, research and like, okay, I bet I'm going to apply to this place. Um, yeah, I think it's just like, I don't know, they're really nice places really nice places i mean they have all the three aspects i want like you know the modern um amenities like the modern um apartment updated they have the amenities and it's in my price range i mean this one to the right is a little pricey a little bit because you have to remember like i'm not a person just because you may be able to afford the apartment you have other fees you have your car note you have groceries you have your utilities i like to travel i like to have fun i like to do personal self-care like that's a fee too so you have to put that in consideration um so that's why it's like my mind's kind of going it's called to the other apartment i don't want to say their names yet but it's nine thousand but it was a cool search i don't know this one was really nice It kind of gave more of a homey vibe versus this one was like straight modern like you kind of felt like um i don't know how to explain it but this one was more homier i don't know like they're both nice like they're all nice i'm gonna sit down and do my research indefinitely intentionally and y'all will see the day <laughs> when i come to a conclusion and you know i don't have to live there forever you know <laughs> at least for a reason so but yeah But yeah, I will um definitely look more intentionally with this. Oh, it's a 782 square feet. Okay. I just put everything on my box. I'm about to go in this folder. I'm starving. Yeah, I'm gonna take some food. I'm starving. But yeah. I be thinking like, what if they're in competition with each other? Because the girl <laughs> who did my tour, she was like, yeah, the apartment complex um, across from us, there, people are moving, um, people are moving over there. So, <laughs> but yeah. 
Yeah, I will see. I just like to do these, especially on the week I'm not doing anything. Visit some apartments. Like manifestation is manifestation is key. But yeah, oh, in the world. All right, but y'all will see. Stay tuned. Got me some Subway. I'm about to munch down. I am starving. Literally, literally starving. Hello, beautiful people. It is currently the next day. Um, I just did some self-care. As you can see, I got these pajamas from Sam's Club, y'all. Um, did a little conditioning, and now I'm working on some things. So I had a to-do list, and I think I explained this um, when I was in the car, but I'm getting things done. So I, look at, I looked into Facebook monetization. I actually did get my personal page monetized um you have to change it to professional settings but when i was reading it i kind of like the instagram monetize better i feel like you get invited first of all you get invited to it and they you get paid based off of your reels here you kind of like it's like stars or something i don't know how to really explain it but i kind of like the instagram better but it's there just in case you know for the future um i got my community service flyer done so i can get the sneak peek so I'm going to do a toy drive and like I said before I used to work at the boys and girls club so all items will be donated there um and then next so I kind of my to-do list and I did it in the steps like I'm gonna work on this first and that so I kind of like you know stay focused next I want to do content for the week for my woman empowerment page if you don't follow it it is um we are heard on instagram we are we are her underscore d okay wait hold on little story about this i'm trying to get the page like going again some positive content um so her came about in college um my friend Moni and my friend monica so Moni came up to me and monica um monica's a friend i met in college like you know we were really close we're still close now but you know when you graduate people kind of separate for a while um and she came up to us and said like hey you know you guys are great women who you know are ambitious you know we we want more for ourselves and we're great uplifters you know so like you know let's come up with a campus you know not organization she didn't want it to be an organization it was just like a a group of women coming together um once a week and just talking and we did that like we had applications out um and we had like gr a group of 10 women and we met up like once a week at each other's um if you went to DSU, I used to live in the yard. So it's kind of like the apartments um, on campus. And we met up and just talked, meditated, um, drank wine. And it just, you know, it, it was great. It was a great moment in my senior year. And I just made, well, there was a page for it, but I remade the page because why not? You know, just have some positivity on social media. So heard was great. Um, if you're watching this, you know, shout out to y'all. We had great times, cries, laughs. Um, but it was great and doing some tiktok content next that's what i'm doing for the rest of the day um i hope you guys enjoyed the little you know productive productivity vlog i wish to see you guys in my next one stay tuned for another video it's going to be great and epic um comment you know below how do you stay organized or like what do you do how do you make your weekends adventurous if you work a nine to five or like how do you keep yourself going outside of work you know what what is your thing to do what are your hobbies what are your skills what are your other endeavors let me know um and if you need any advice to organize i love to organize um i really i just did camp well i had camera for a while but if you do camera pro um you can make folders of your projects and separate it so i have one for herd one for my service 
I'm getting into the vending machine business soon, one for Tatrice and one for my YouTube. So anything that comes from Canva, I just put it in my folder, you know, to make life easier. So how y'all stay organized? Let me know. And I'll see y'all in my next video.